So wait, Boss Watchtower is really back this time? Yeah, but she brought an intern. Says he's here to help with the feelings. Oh, great. Last time feelings got involved, I ugly cried for a week. Remember the ACC in round two? This curvy part of the horseshoe-shaped region that's known as the ACG. Well, the ACC's little sibling, the SGACC, is on the underside of the curvy part. Let me draw a little line here just to give you a visual anchor. So, visual recap here. The horseshoe is the ACG, anterior cingulate gyrus. The curvy part of that horseshoe is the ACC, anterior cingulate cortex. And the underside of that curvy part, the SGACC, subgenual anterior cingulate cortex. And that's why we use initials around here. So the curvy ACC loves clarity because it wants things to make logical sense. But clarity is not the same as safety. And that's where its little sibling comes in. Think of the SGACC as the emotional bridge under logic. When it's online, emotions and logic start talking again. You can think clearly and safely feel. But when it's offline, they ghost each other. Emotions flood the system, logic shuts down, and the watchtower can't tell who's in charge. In healing, this little bridge is the first to come back online. That moment you cry after years of numbness, that's the SGACC clocking in. That moment you finally feel grief and compassion for yourself, that's the SGACC on duty. It doesn't erase pain, it integrates it. It also helps you process despair without drowning in it, reminding the rest of the brain, this hurts now, but it's not forever. That's how clarity and compassion start working together again. Tomorrow, we'll see how this emotional bridge links to the watchtower and why the VMPFC, the calm observer under the roof, is key to feeling safe enough to heal.